David, so this is all your training ground around here? This is our two pitches. Community for the bowl. Do you bowl? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's a good game. This was our gym before we arrived. We chatted oh, yeah. with the community. So if a nice old lady was on the bike and my player said, oh, I have training, can I make my pre really? I have another 10 minutes to go. So <laughs> Premier League for you. you I like the connection we have here with the community. Mm. Usually I'm not able to go into the city center and drink a coffee, but here, uh, you get a little bit of yeah, feeling for the wildlife. You get a few people on. coming in. Yeah, yeah. So the general public can just meet your players and... If you like to be for yourself, you go in this area. Mm. This isn't for the community, but if you like to join the community, mm. you can stay in around this area as well. You keep them out of the bar, yeah. presumably, <laughs> do you? Yeah. <laughs> ah, this is my sport, you see. Yeah? Snooker, yeah. Right, All right, pressure's on. Oh, hello. One for the cameras, that was it. <laughs> How did a German end up here at Huddersfield, of all places, managing this club? Uh, a lot of flukes, to be honest. I never had this in my head uh, to be ever a manager in England. Uh, even when I got the first phone call, I, I was totally surprised. What was it like, the interview for this job? Did you have to do a bit of homework? Because I'm sure yeah, you didn't yeah. even probably know where Huddersfield <laughs> was, did you? No, I, I haven't known where Huddersfield was. I have known that there exists a football club called <laughs> Huddersfield Town. <laughs> but uh, a few hours in the internet and you know everything what you have to know. Uh, I had some concerns about the language uh, because I know how important uh, language is if you like to work with a team like I do. I like to speak yeah. usually and be in touch with my players. But uh, after the interview, I, I, I thought, okay, this uh, don't have to be a bigger issue. What are the differences between managing a second team, like you did at Dortmund, and managing a first team? The biggest difference is a different country, to be honest. So in Germany, the second team is a proper football team. You can get promoted and relegated, what we've done. Uh, the highest level is uh, Bundesliga 3, what is comparable with League 1 here in England. And, and there are proper football matches in front of 30,000 where you really have to work for it. What kind of player were you? I know you're a forge. <laughs> Not as good as you, so uh, don't speak about my playing career. Makes no sense. <laughs> Makes absolutely no sense. No, well, it is. It's important in your overall being and the, what you've achieved subsequently. Okay, it's, it's very easy. Yeah. I was a forward player yes. without scoring goals. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, That's not entirely true. <laughs> and uh, I had not enough endurance for a midfielder. Yeah. Uh, I was not tough enough for a defender, so... <laughs> it's interesting, because after your playing career, you actually went off to study, didn't you? Yeah. Went to university, get a degree. Yeah, yeah. Did you envisage at that point that you would return to the game of football? Or was no. it specifically for that? No, no. I, I really uh, uh, made the decision uh, with my head and with my brain that I left the football family. And I wanted to get experience to get challenges out of this football. So I, I studied sports science and biology uh, to become a teacher because I wanted to find out there have to be something more and something different rather only this uh, <laughs> small tight football circle where everybody told you what you have to drink when you have to go <laughs> to bed. Uh, so. And I liked it, to be honest. Yeah. So well, football for is the real life. <laughs> well, footballers are treated like children, really, aren't they? Yeah. In many ways. A lot of the time. <laughs> On one way, yes. Yeah. But when you're a manager, of course, you set the rules. What pulls you back into it? No, at the end, I think if you have your, this virus uh, in yourself, even if you think it's done, it comes back. Did you miss it? After this period, yes. I think the first one or two years I haven't seen a, a football match. Before, I like every football junkie, every football match was my football <laughs> match on TV. But in this period, no, I have other things to do. To be honest, if I have known how hard it is to study sports science and biology, <laughs> I would never have started it. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, I wanted to finish it, I finished it. I made my way for pro license and I studied uh, sports science and biology. So it makes sense to try to come back into... Similar in some way to Jose Mourinho. Yeah. He did a similar sort of thing. He went and studied sports science. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I haven't so, known this. There you go. I have... Something in common. Yeah. <laughs> Many things in common, but now you've beaten him as well. Oh, yeah. And you yourself, what are your managerial ambitions? I don't know what is around the corner. So I do my job. I love my job. I love what I'm doing here. If there will be the moment when I think, okay, let's do the next one, 
I will feel it, like I felt when Huddersfield came and I was in Dortmund's second team. Uh, I have no idea and I, I don't have the aim of oh, bigger club, uh, another country. This is not how I think. Uh, I will feel it when I think it's the right one.